Peterson elimination reaction is a very important organic immune reaction by which we can make alkenes stereospecifically. So uh, with this reaction, we can generate our desired alkene with a designed starting material. And in this video, I will be discussing about the mechanism of the Peterson elimination reaction and I will give a summary that with which reaction condition you will get which uh, outcome of the reaction. is simple but uh, students are confused with uh, when we will get which isomer because here if you vary the reaction condition you will get different products so this is uh, the reaction you can see is basically a compound where you have a trimethylsilyl group here and in the vicinal carbon you have a hydroxyl group so this is the speciality of this starting material you should have this kind of a starting material where you have a hydroxyl group over one carbon atom and in the vicinal carbon atom you have a trimethyl cesyl group or any other cesyl group and now uh, depending on the reaction condition whether it is acidic or basic you will get two different products from the same starting material for example here we have taken the uh, erythro isomer of this particular particular compound. Why it is erythro? Because you can see all these similar groups, for example, these two hydrogens, they are anti to each other, these two methyl, they are anti to each other, and also this silicon group and this oxygen group, they are anti to each other. So it is a erythro isomer. And starting from here, if we treat this compound with acid, we will get this uh, trans double bond or this trans alkene, whereas if you uh, use the basic condition, you will get the cis product. Now, this is the main feature of this reaction that uh, starting from the same compound you can get two different products uh, varying the reaction condition. So why you will get these two products that now I will discuss. So first let us discuss the compound or let us discuss the reaction when we do the reaction in the acidic medium. So in acidic medium you can see we get the trans product. Now why this is so? so you can think about the reaction in the acidic medium. So what will happen? If you treat this compound with acid, what will happen? So in this given molecule, the only group that can be protonated is this hydroxyl group, right? So this hydroxyl group will be protonated as H2O plus, right? Now previously your OH minus which was a very bad living group. Now with this protonation, this H2O plus it is a good living group, right? So now what can happen? So if you use acidic medium, of course there will be water molecules present in your reaction condition, right? Now this water molecule, although they are very bad nucleophile, but now as this living group is very good, so even this water molecule which is otherwise a very bad living, uh, bad nucleophile, they can also attack here. And now you can see this one will go here and this will go. So this is a kind of E2 elimination reaction. And now you can see if it is an E2 elimination reaction, it should be stereo specific. The transition state should be stereo specific. And in the starting material, uh, whatever the geometry of this methyl and hydrogen groups are, that will be manifested in the product also. So you can see in the starting material, this hydrogen and this hydrogen, they are trans to each other. One is above the plane, one is below the plane. So the same should be maintained and that's why this hydrogen one will go uh, behind, one will come forward and same with the methyl. So that's how you can get the trans product. So you can see the mechanism of the reaction gives this particular product because this E2 elimination reaction which needs a anti-periplanar uh, stereochemistry or anti-periplanar arrangement of this uh, two bonds, this silicon carbon bond and this silicon oxygen bond, that drives the reaction to give you this uh, trans product. Now, uh, so it is clear that why we get trans product for the acid catalyzed reaction. Now, the question is why we get the different product or cis product for a base catalyzed reaction? 
Now let us think about the base catalyzed reaction. What will happen if you treat the same compound with base, right? If you treat the same compound with base, so let's say um, sodium hydride, we treat this compound with sodium hydride. So usually we need some strong base like uh, hydride source like sodium hydride or potassium hydride. So what it will do, this hydride will take a proton. Now only group present in this compound which can undergo deprotonation is again this hydroxyl group. So if the deprotonation occurs, you will get O- minus over here. Right. Now what will be the fate of this O-? minus? So in the previous case, it becomes a living group like H2O+, plus, but now it becomes a nucleophile O-, minus. so where it will attack? So the only uh, only attacking center present in this molecule is the silicon and we know that oxygen silicon bond is very strong like oxygen phosphorus bond which you have seen in Wittig reaction. So uh, similarly this oxygen silicon bond is very strong and whenever the oxygen O- is there and it has a neighboring silicon group it will always prefer to attack over there. Now the problem with this attack is they are trans or they are anti to each other. So in this particular conformation, they, uh, this O minus cannot attack over the silicon. So it needs a bond rotation. And this bond rotation, so if we just keep this O minus as it is and these groups also. So it will be as it is. Now we just rotate this bond. And if you rotate like this, what will happen? The silicon will go upward. And you can see this methyl will go below and this hydrogen will come above, right? And now this O minus can add up over here. So there will be a single bond like this, and here you have a negative charge. Now you can see this is a oxyphosphate in the right intermediate, which we get in case of Wittig reaction. Now uh, you can guess it will collapse, same like Wittig reaction. So if you go here, this bond will go here, and you will get this side, let me see, double bond here it will have a minus, and now here you can see. So what happens is hydrogen is also uh, above the board, and this hydrogen is also above the board. So two hydrogen will go below the board, and you will get the cis product. So this is your trans product, this is your cis product. So due to the difference in the reaction mechanism, in the previous case, link to elimination was a anti, uh, so it, it required a anti periplanar arrangement, whereas in this particular case, due to the formation of the cyclic, cyclic intermediate, it needs a sin periplanarity, and for that, the, the uh, stereochemical outcome or the stereoelectronics of the reaction is changed and we get different product than the previous one. So this is the thing. So, uh, so from that, what we understand that uh, this Peterson elimination reaction it is a stereo-specific reaction because so you can think so in case of acidic medium. So in case of acidic medium, if we started from a erythro compound, we got this product. Now you can think if we had a CO product. Like this, what you would get? You would get the reverse. This and the uh, trans for the base catalyzed reaction. So, if you consider only one reaction condition, for example, whether it is acidic or basic, then starting from a particular diastereomer, you will get a particular stereoisomer. So, this is a kind of stereo specific reaction. So, one thing is Peterson reaction is a stereo specific reaction, and starting from the same uh, stereoisomer, you can get two different. Uh, to completely different outcome if we if you just do the uh, reversal of the reaction condition. So this is important. So whenever you have given any question related to this Peterson kind of reaction, you have to first see whether it is acidic reaction or the reaction is in base. And according to if the reaction is in acid, it will be a E2 elimination reaction that is anti-periplanar intermediate anti-periplanar transition state. And if it is a reaction in the basic medium state a thin uh, elimination reaction and accordingly your product will be different. So that's all. I hope that this thing is clear to you. Thank you for watching and if you want more videos like that, subscribe my channel. Best of luck.